goldfish. The other one is a fish who rely on me. Equally as rare. Happy David, what the days in our island today? These airplanes are operated by Navy Wings. They're based at Yeovilton in Somerset. And their motto is fly to inspire, fly to remember. It's highly funded by the public. You can learn more about how you can help them at navywings.org.uk. This time, at the world, there are only two swordfish flying. One in Canada, and the one that graces in front of you now. in front of you celebrate his 80th birthday this year. Just out of the sea a little bit. Keeping venerable aeroplanes like this and the Spitfire and the Hurricane the Lancaster you saw earlier is a never-ending, highly filled, complex, challenging job. Is the camera's ready, ladies and gentlemen, of this incredible formation for eight. Here it goes. So the Stinson Reliant heads north. The swordfish takes centre stage. The swordfish starts out under the designation TSR2, that torpedo spotter reconnaissance. The prototype first flew in 1933. The whole process story nearly got what very long. You see. In November 1933, the one precious prototype was destroyed. Very tough pilot, Chris Danilan, with a test which finds things in the airplane at height. And he found himself in a classic flat spin, very, very difficult to get out of. Eventually, the flying several maneuvers to press the spin, he decided it was best to pass it on to step over the side and leave the aeroplane. Which he did. Took him to his peculiar amount of effort to get out of the aeroplane. He woke up, not on the ground or floating down over the canopy, but he fell and fly at the front cockpit and fallen into the back cockpit as far as he got. All of that effort, we have to do again to get out of this permanently spinning aeroplane. He did it. And he took it down. I wonder if he worked out that he's probably one of the very, very few people who got the only person in the world who has bailed out of the same aeroplane twice. So, 
But it clipped the rudder and enabled the Royal Navy to pin down the capital ship and dispatch it. These wonderful aeroplanes took part in escorting the Atlantic convoys and I really think their pilots and their crew, every time they took off from a small aircraft carrier, it was an act of faith. They were leaving to patrol and the air, the air, the airfield, if you like, the floating airfield that they had left would not be in the same place when they returned to it. That find their airfield. When they got back, it would be pitching and rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, the swordfish! That is exceptional. I'm sorry if I sound uh, anyway biased. That's wonderful! Ladies and gentlemen, running through wave. That is an iconic, beautiful machine. You notice underneath the tin fish, as they called it, the, the torpedo. That would limit the swordfish to about 87 knots in the air. And over here from your right, the north, here's the Stinson Reliance. Another rare beast. I think this is the only one flying in the United Kingdom. Probably somebody already dashing towards me to tell me otherwise. Now this is on loan to Navy Wings. Navy Wings, very grateful to several owners of precious aircraft who have allowed them to display them. The third basic Yogleton Somerset. Stinson Factory, located in Detroit, in the United States, built this machine in 1943. On contract with the United States Navy, but it was one of nearly 600 transferred to the Fleet Air Arm, the British Fleet Air Arm. Big, highly maneuverable, powerful four-seater with that incredible wing shape they were used by the fleet air arm for communications work and for training navigator training this machine Serial number Fox Kilo 877. And it appears in the colours that it wore. During World War II, trainers were given high visibility yellow colours. And 
Surge with 740 squadron at Macri Hanish near Campbelltown in Scotland and 703 squadron at Thorny Island near Portsmouth on the south coast. Apart from delighting audiences, the Stinson is very, very useful for Navy wings. They can use it for positioning pilots across the country during their displays and also it's very good for tail dragger training. Now, this is a machine, as you see, the swordfish the same, it has a tail wheel that sits back, that, that sits back most modern, certainly most post-war airplanes with tricycle in the carriage. But this is a tail dragger and the, the skills to flying such an airplane, taking off and landing are somewhat different, quite a dance on the rudders as you uh, take off and land. And this machine will allow them, the would-be swordfish pilots, to graduate through using the Stinson. And of course, Navy Wings also has a pair of de Havilland Chipmunk trainers that can do the same thing. What a fabulous noise, we hope you're going to hear a noise quite like that later on in the day. And he's waving to you, ladies and gentlemen, the Navy Wing Stinson Reliance. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Navy Wings. Sexual. History on the wing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've been explaining that the weather's not great. It's getting better and better here. But across the country, it's not so good. The next aeroplane.